it today, chat. What a beautiful day. First of all, you're back here with Blockchain Sosa. If y'all are new to this channel, and in today's video, we will be escaping Amsterdam. So y'all probably are like, what do you mean by escaping? And pretty much, I've been here for over 72 hours, and at this point, I'm like, I, I've had enough. And the culture has been great and everything and all of that however i haven't really got to do a lot of the touristy stuff because of jet lag so what i'm gonna do today is go ahead and get on a plane to another country we're gonna see how far we go and see if jet lag affects us by the time we get there but i'm looking forward to it amsterdam was fun for those of y'all that have been here we already know what i mean by escape amsterdam you already know what i mean by that for those of y'all that have been here before but definitely gonna come back this year has been a vibe 100 uh, i want to do more of the touristy stuff i feel like i did a lot of the local traveler stuff so definitely gonna do the touristy stuff next time but yeah our mission escape Amsterdam. So first we need to get some food. And I'm choosing this place here. This pastry place it looks pretty dope. So Alright, we just got some a cappuccino, so I'm waiting for it to come. I feel a little off because it's like four in the morning Eastern time right now and 10.30 here. So this is to be honest the earliest that I've been up since I've been here in Amsterdam. So hopefully some coffee can help jump start my day. I wanted to keep it light this morning since we have our flight soon. Alright, right now, chat, we're on our way back to Central Station. Yo, really, RP my luggage, though, for real. In the Central Station with me. So, I'll just go get a the ticket real quick. Alright, y'all, let's go. Catch our train. Seven minutes, we at the airport. Let's see if we get something to eat because we didn't really eat this morning except for sweets. And then from there, uh, let's see if they got an airport lounge in there. Priority pass bus in Amsterdam. Over or under on priority pass bus in Amsterdam. Let me know what y'all gonna take in the comments before y'all see this. And then same thing over or under on if the next city that I'm going to in Europe is gonna have cobble cells. I don't wanna say the city just yet. That way y'all can just need to guess. Uh, let's see which one of y'all get that right so but yeah we got about seven or eight minutes and then uh, we out of here that's bittersweet i'm not even gonna lie see what that says I'm gonna give y'all a quick hint quick hint that's all I gotta say all right so we just gotta find our gate or where to drop off our bags and then pretty much the mission is complete so we just gotta wait for obviously the plane to take us to our destination and then from there we're good but the tickets already bought so it's just a matter of just making sure that we get on the flight so the next place that we go to chat we'll be doing it different Y'all probably seen the last couple of vlogs. We started it with two beers every morning and Liquid IV, that's the name of it. But we started it with that, not doing that anymore. I think as you move locations, you change vibes. And as you change vibes, you need to switch up routines. Words of wisdom for you. Hell yes. Somebody take notes on that. Man, I need to start writing a book. But I guess we'll just go upstairs to check in and see what's up. And then I think like, it all connects probably, so I should be fine for the most part. Feels like I'm climbing a hill trying to walk up this shit. Ugh. I don't know how I feel about that versus a traditional escalator. It's like, what if I tumble down? <laughs> I feel like I'm rolling backwards. 
Alright, let's go figure out what gate our flight is at and then check our bags in. But it looks like we made the mission. A few steps away, uh, I'll report back in with something to turn on. Alright, chat, we made it through. Bro, feels good. No bags. Everything's checked in. Let me know if y'all guess what our next location is. If not, I'm about to give y'all a preview once I get to the gate. Finally. Can we say mission complete yet, chat? I don't know. Can we say mission complete? It feel like it. It feel very close. Or is this the last checkpoint until I get into the plane? But, like, I'm already in the airport, so I'm like, I can't leave. My bag is already checked in. Like, I'm supposed to leave my bag. So I think, I think we can say mission complete, chat. But yeah, I'm gonna give y'all an update of where we're going uh, once I get to the boarding gate. So I just checked and Priority Pass does have a lounge here at the Amsterdam airport. So I was walking the wrong way. It's about a 12 minute walk for me to get there. Cause I would've definitely got lost, but there's a couple directions. I have to go to escalators, go upstairs to the restaurant bars and then I'm there. But I would've definitely got lost and not know where I was going. So shout out Priority Pass. But let's see what they got there. Like chat, you ever been lost in a country by yourself? It's not a good feeling. Don't do that. I can only imagine being lost in a country by myself where nobody speaks my language, man. Like, what do you do? Is it does it become like a survivor? Like the game show survivor? Like what do you do at that point? See when I turned in here, this was definitely not a sign. I didn't see that sign, so that's why I got lost. We're gonna go find it. Shout out part that's like I said. Thank goodness everything's in English, which is a little interesting. Like I guess the English have a good influence on the Dutch, or is that just how it is for international airports? They just put stuff in English. Uh, we might do a deep dive on that, but nine minutes. Alright chat, we almost made it. I feel like I've been walking for like 30 minutes. I see that big ass Delta logo. Kinda makes me miss home. I mean, you may ask, what is home? Born in Nigeria, chat. Raised in New York. Reside currently in Atlanta. So home right now is Atlanta. Home home is New York. Let me know if y'all distinguish. Cause I feel like everybody has a home. And everybody has a home home. So home home for me is New York. But yeah, let's see what this bus in Florida is called Aspire. And we still got about an hour until my flight board. So we probably gonna stay here for like 45 minutes, get some food in and it feel good. Here we go again, climb the stairs. Let's see if we get rejected like back in JFK. If y'all tune into that vlog, if not, go, go watch that one. Go watch that one where we left. I don't know, I may never come back to the States. I don't know. I may be capping in 4K, but at this rate, I may never come back. Light refreshments, not too bad. Alright, chat, we're about to go walk back to our flight. It is approximately 2.05, so my flight actually just started boarding. Now we just gotta find our gate and not get lost again. But I think I know where I'm going this time around. We don't need a map, don't need a GPS. We figured it out, we downloaded the information already, so should know where we're going this time around. Also, I did update the setting on my camera and boy, I already noticed the difference, chat. Like before it was so like jittery. And why hasn't anybody told me this? I thought I took all the courses on YouTube Academy for this camera, but I guess not. It looks like there's new settings every day. So if there are any good settings that y'all recommend, please let me know. I'm gonna go ahead and update my camera with those settings, but it feels good, it feels good. I'm a little tired, a little exhausted, cause I'm usually not even up at this time, to be honest, both in America and within here, cause I've been in Europe. So a little beat, but we gonna thug it out though. We gonna thug it out. All right, child, made it to our gate. Let's see if y'all guess right. Those y'all that 
guessed right, congrats. For those of y'all that didn't, y'all need to travel a little bit more. But I feel like you could have guessed this. But we're gonna hop on this flight. This is like two, stop two. Let's get it. Y'all see what's going on, chat? Another flight, another flight, another flight. Chat, just touch down. Just touch down in Portugal, Lisbon. So, we're about to go get our bags. I already feel a different energy here. As y'all saw in the most recent clip, and I know the audio was bad, but I'm like, we had to take a bus to the terminal, and then on top of that, there was basically hedges in the airport while we were landing. It did look like there is some traffic, but hopefully it doesn't affect us. I did want to take a Uber instead of the train, because like I said, we in a different country, it feels different. But about to go find our bags and then figure out what is the best mode of transportation. Y'all comment down below, which I think I should do, but I think our mission is finally accomplished. We are in Lisbon. Alright chat, we got our bags. Everything has been going in my favor. I like this. It feels like good energy out here. I might even lie. As y'all can see the bag. But we about to go try to see if we can find the train to get there. It looks like traffic is kind of bad. So on the train and in the Uber is about the same amount of time. And especially if you have the account for the wait for an Uber, it's probably even longer. So at least I would not look at the train schedule. It said every three minutes. So it seems pretty efficient. Hopefully it's clean. It feels like Spain plus Miami. I don't know how to explain it, but it definitely felt like that. <laughs> I feel like all the escalators be moving hella fast. Like, what's going down here, bro? Faster than the normal speeds. I hopped on this shit, I'm like, oh, I'm about to fall. But the system looks like similar to Amsterdam, so the cars look different though. Let's go buy a ticket to the metro. Let's see. Some of them says bank payment only, some says contactless, some says avoid getting robbed. Damn, niggas over here be robbing people and shit. What the hell? Alright, let's see how we do this. But yeah, this is what their metro car looks like. And we all, we're out now. That was pretty simple and straightforward. We just got an out on the train. So we gotta take the line to Almeida. Take that line, chat. How somebody just leave the suitcase right there? That's crazy, chat. What the hell? People that trustworthy out here? I missed his suitcase? Nah, I don't like that. That's bad vibes, chat. Cause like in New York, like if you see something, say something. I don't like that. That's bad vibes, chat. But yeah, it looks like so far I have a good sense of direction. Call me the black Magellan. Alright, chat, we on the train. I'm gonna get lost. Okay, should be going in the right direction. Alright, we just got off. We're about to go wait for our next train. This place is called Almeida. Y'all see all them stairs? Yeah, nah, there's no way there's no escalator or elevator. I got this big ass bag. There's no way. But yeah, we are here at Almeida. And then we just gotta make one more train transfer. Chat, they love stairs here, bro. Can't even tell you how many flight of stairs I've taken my luggage up. But we just got the train station. And we got about a 10 minute walk. Still nice outside. Probably gonna come get a drink. Nah, this is different. Me in Portugal, chat. I'm over here exiting different rail stations and ended up in different cities. It's really different, y'all. I like the architecture so far. I don't know if it's maybe just what today is, but it definitely feels like a slower pace. Amsterdam, very slower pace in Amsterdam, but I like it. So we gotta find out how to get to our place. It's about 10 minutes, looks like it got us cutting through alleys, which I don't like. 
like I'm now walking in the proper direction so but it does look like a hill and I'm not ready to climb that hill chat I know y'all see that hill there we go they got fish in that window y'all already know I'm about to be on mad seafood say less this is a nasty hill though bro. they should put this in the Airbnb instructions that way people will know and they can mentally prepare for it. Alright, we're taking a break. I'm pretty tired. We still got eight minutes of walking, so I think I could take the shortcut. Take the shortcut. <laughs> Why is there so many stairs, chat? I feel like everywhere I go, there's stairs. Stairs behind me, hills and stairs. But I think I need to climb this set of stairs and then that's gonna put me on a different road and then I should be where I need to be. But these stairs is crazy. A few moments later. Hopefully I'm walking the right way, y'all. Cut a minute, so quick break. Nah, this shit is really crazy. Y'all see all the stairs left I have to go? Y'all yeah, really see them stairs? Oh my goodness. I need a whole shower after this. I'm not making a shower chat. So many stairs. It's so daunting, but the view keeps getting better as we go up so i'm hoping the view at the top of where i'm staying is worth it or else i'm gonna be sick chat but i can't make this up i've been climbing stairs for like six minutes they didn't say that in the walking direction i thought it was just flat four more minutes of stairs he wasn't lying he said it's only half i'm taking an uber next time bro like this is like that RC mission from GTA San Andreas, but instead, it's stairs. We don't have to fly plane through objectives, we need to cross stairs. So, it is what it is. It is what it is. But we got this, come on. I'm tired of our break, let's go. Alright chat, I hope that's it for the stairs. I don't see no more so far, but I also don't want to jinx myself. So, I'm going to enjoy this flat land and take my time. Because knowing my luck, there's definitely more stairs. <laughs> He's carrying a whole board. Maybe he does this every day, I don't know. But them stairs are different. It says we are two minutes away. But oh, that car is fire. <laughs> That's a nice car, I like it. <laughs> it's a nice car. It's like, it doesn't even get hard enough. Like, this isn't hard enough. Now I gotta walk down the hill of cobblestone track. I walked down the hill. I mean, I'm not gonna complain though. No. That shit is on fire. That shit is complaining OD. Mmm, that smells good, whatever this place is. Whatever's in there smells good. Yeah, boy. Sangria. Definitely gonna have us some sangria. Chat, why do I walk past the place, bro? I climbed up this hill for an unnecessary reason. I'm supposed to make a right in this alley. How am I supposed to see that? But we're almost here. <laughs> the mission is almost complete type of missions they put me on today man first escape amsterdam i'm thinking i'm good once i hit the airport but nope i had to climb half a mile of stairs and then i gotta climb cobblestone hill with a suitcase that's suffering but yeah 
On that note, I'm about to go upstairs and check in and then check back in with y'all, probably get some food. But yeah, Lisbon, it's beautiful so far. More stairs, we're not done yet. And them staircase looks dangerous as hell. Hopefully that's it, hopefully that's it. All right, child, we finally made it, man. I have to turn that on immediately, cause ain't no way. Boy, too hot out here, boy. That was a crazy mission just now. That was really a crazy mission we had to do. But we made it. There's a lot of sunlight in my room. Nice boy. I'm gonna go ahead, change, freshen up, and then get to it. I will say this, Jack. Imagine if you have to go on that mission with a partner. So now you have two. And you have to carry it through the train station, what I did, like I saw. And then you gotta carry it through the stairs. I almost forgot about the stairs. For like half a mile. And you have to drag two of those up a cobblestone road. And then carry it up six flights of stairs to get in here. And then be where this beautiful view is. Let me ask you this, would you do that? Or would you force your partner to also help you? Or is it right for your partner to help you? I think for me, if my partner didn't help me in that case and just watched me drag two bags, I don't know if that's my partner. Is. We, we arguing for sure. We definitely arguing for sure. But y'all let me know if I'm bugging. But imagine just having this mission I just did on the hardest difficulty by having two luggages you have to drag up or having this plus a carry-on bag too mm -mm. so cheat code especially if you're running this with a partner take a uber don't be like me but it was nice to see and get to understand the neighborhoods but don't do that take a uber mm -hmm. 